Hey guys, <clears throat> welcome back to the next video here. Uh, we got our mold. It looks really nice. Uh, some, some. Uh, what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna put the body back and we're gonna pour the inside of the mold. I guess the male side. Okay, this would be the female. Some notes on what I did here in the meantime. Uh, I beveled the edges a little bit, neatened it up. I cut some grooves in the corners here, and I put two grooves on this outer edge here, so that way when the uh, female mold and the male mold goes in, you know which way is which. It helps register the two molds together. Um, and that's really it with this. I washed it, and I dried it, I let it sit. Uh, this stuff's nice and strong and stretchy. There is evidence of bubbles on the top, of course, and uh, even some in the sides here when I squeeze it, you can see. So, not sure how it's going to be when we actually cast, but the good thing is that um, once the, the the male mold is cast, casting a female is pretty easy. You don't have to redo all that clay work. Okay, so um, jump over to the body, pulled all the clay out, cleaned up as best I could all the all the residue and remains, any little pieces. Notice I added these two wires onto the two high spots. Those high spots are going to tend to catch air bubbles uh, when you're pouring the resin. So the resin is going to be squeezed up into those pockets and there's going to be air in those pockets in the in the male mold apart so that air needs a place to escape so these wires will be casting holes into the male mold and that will allow the resin to rise up into those high spots one along the back here and one uh, on the front motor mount and that will allow the air bubbles to escape okay now when the body comes out the cast you're gonna have to nip those off these will be plastic but it's not a big deal okay so um, that's all I really did to this thing. I made sure uh, it was clean, like I said, and we're, we're casting the shape of the inside here. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop this in, and let's see the best way to go. I'm just going to put it down in there and give it a nice squeeze. That went in pretty good. How about at the back? Pop. And it fits in great. All right, so now, now we're ready to go. What I'm going to do, um, I need to build these walls up again, I need to take these on to give myself that dam, that reservoir for the, of plastic, reservoir for the rubber. Okay, so I'm going to build these on there, the tape. Um, if you bevel the corners too much here, then the, the rubber is going to squeeze down, so don't bevel them too much. You can leave them raw. Um, you don't want to mess on your hands. And if you make it too big and it all drains out, then you'll end up missing the top. I'm going to pour it so I have about, we'll say a half an inch on top to about there and that's it okay so i'm pretty much ready to get in the shop i have some mold release that i'm going to spray onto this surface because the silicone will stick to the silicone so i'm definitely going to spray it let it dry and i'm going to just uh, wipe it and make sure it's nice and clean okay so i'll see you guys in the workshop and we're ready to ready to start mixing again Just getting some, blasting it with the vapors in there. We don't want these two to stick together. And there's really no detail on this inner mold that's that important. So getting a good blast all four directions. And I'll uh, let this dry and then inspect it, make sure we're good before we actually pour okay I did not use the sides of the box you see I just used the tape because this part shrank a bit and uh, just a little bit but enough to where there was gaps and I don't want all my rubber to pour down so sealed it up with the tape all right okay guys we got our mix here uh, we went with about 220 this time, so we did 210.3 and ended up at 10.5 for the other stuff. I let it settle for a while, blew out a lot of the bubbles. Now the bubbles on the inside are less important than the outside because the inside of the car, you're not looking for those defects, but do your best. 
without a vacuum we're doing our best and I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna do a high pour down into the lowest part and I'm gonna let the rubber find its way up okay so you you've seen this video already here we go all right guys there we have it um, the mold came out nice and clean um, came apart eventually it was really stuck uh, any bit of rubber that seeped its way down past the plastic landed on this virgin rubber and it was really bonded strong I actually had to get a uh, razor blade to slice it open to start and then I was able to peel it the parts where I sprayed the mold release on okay we had a little sticking inside some of the windows uh, which was really hard to pull out so when you get your mold release um, and you're spraying especially for this this male part really really spray in there thoroughly okay but uh, it came out it looks good so here we have uh, you know the inside of the truck and we have that that spot which is going to be a high spot right when we cast it has a nice uh, vent and we've got another vent back here just to help what I'm gonna do is I will take my exacto and I'm gonna cut a couple little grooves right in along here along the bottom corners of these running boards probably two there uh, one on each corner of the bumper on the front and on the back so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight little grooves. I'm going to cut down to about here. So what that'll do, it'll allow any plastic that's extra to have a place to go. Instead of just bulging out the plastic, it will be able to escape and vent out. Uh, as you squeeze the mold shut, as you fill that with liquid and you squeeze the mold shut, that excess plastic needs a place to go. Now some will come up these vent tubes but we need another avenue of escape for extra plastic that's down in there so I'm gonna cut that down into these um, running boards and remember this is the inside of your model so even when I cut my grooves in along here you will not see that from the outside of the body because they're gonna be cast alongside the inner surface of the body the outer surface of the body is gonna remain perfect okay so um, and before I actually cast a body I will show you that this um, and that'll be next video the moment we've been waiting for actually trying to cast a body and see how this comes out okay now this mold you can see a lot of little air bubbles um, so hey get that vacuum chamber going it's definitely the best way to do this alright so there you have it we have our two pieces uh, of our mold fit together great uh, I think we got something good here my friends so I'm gonna let this cure for a day or two um, body got ripped apart in the process of getting it out so this is unfortunately done I don't even know where that that bulkhead went but um, it's not in there is it no so anyway um, we lost the body but you know we've got uh, we've got a mold so thanks for watching so far next video is going to be uh, casting a body okay and that part's pretty straightforward all right guys be safe peace